Hi, in this video we will be looking at how to use Adobe Premiere Rush on your mobile or your iPad device. So you can get this software on the Play Store or in the Apple Store. So this is a free video editing software you can edit on the go. So first let's load this. So it will just open the interface and you need to create a new project. So first you can create a new project click on this if you have media you can select your media here videos here so there is some sample media if you want to learn so let's click on that and let's name the project as new project and then just select this media and click on this create so now the interface will be launched so this is the basic interface so you can see that already the videos are imported here so it's this is the timeline where you will be editing so if you need to cut this, you can click on the scissors here. So it will cut this video. And if you want to delete a portion, this video for instance, you can click on this recycle bin and it will be deleted. Now there is this button that is for duplicating this clip. So if you want to duplicate this clip, you can click on this plus and it will be duplicated. Now if you need to trim a clip you can go to the end of this and then just drag it and it will be trimmed same for this end you can click on this and this just drag this is for showing the full view and you can drag this to zoom in on your timeline so this is for enhancing the audio side and you can again show this track view if you need to put video on top of each other if you need to select this video and put it on top you can do that you can view this track view you can turn it off so this is for selecting the different clips and select and deselect clips So you can move this around, select a bunch of clips, you can pinch in to zoom in on the timeline. Now tell, let's take a look at this, you can play this. Here this button is for changing the aspect ratio. So you can change this to 9 is to 16 etc. And here is a different buttons on the right side so you can do different effects here again if you need to add media you can add graphics audio etc here so let's add a add a graphic so you can add graphics from here so there are a lot of free graphics available so if you need to add this you can simply drag, select this and drag and drop this like this. So now this will be added on top. You can close this window. Now you can see this. This is added. You can just simply double click on the window here to edit anything. So now you can simply edit that and then if you need to move it around, you can simply click on this and move this around now if you need to unlink the audio and video you can long press on this you can just click on a video to just separate the audio like this you can split it and the different options are available if you click on this video also
so if you need to separate the audio you can just click on send this audio separated and you can, you can do whatever you like you can click on this and then just delete the audio so that is the graphics part we have added a graphics here now let's go to the next one this is for adding the different transitions so if i need to add a transition like a slight transition you can see this now if you play this you can see that slight transition is added so you can select the different transitions etc now this is for grading if you need to grade this you can add this presets if you need to edit on your own you can then just go to this edit then change the different settings add contrast etc vibrance if you need to do the different editing by your own now next is the speed ramping so if you need to change the speed of this you can select the entire clip and then this it will be now oh god i love the filter it's really fast next is the audio so if you select on audio you can add different audios available there are some free audios available so if you need this you can just click on this and add and rush will automatically add this on your timeline so if you select this audio you can do this many settings on the audio you can change the volume change the type etc to voice etc so some of these are only available in the premium so you have to buy the premium version now this is for changing the position of this video so you can simply change the position of the video so you can double click on this to reset it so you can even add black bars on top and bottom to give a cinematic look if you like and then just move the video up and down so this is the basic overview and if you need to undo something you can click on the button here the undo button here and redo button here and then if you need to finally export your video and click on the share button and it will automatically set the settings for you or you can select the settings here and you can click on the export button here to export your video anywhere so hope you found this video helpful so until next time bye